this is just not really that big. So still the primary cell, we still the toys, that's one of the two. These tools are still being more than ever. So what what are our options? Is this legally considered defamation? Because I'm not much struggling here. Can some of these tell me just what my options are here? Because I we were supposed to launch the, the toys today. Jake knows what he wants, Jake knows what he thinks he needs. He just wants to be a student stand up media and he didn't even follow that dream. Oh wow. He has no idea how much money I spent on that video to describe it. Jake, I I don't think Jake's a problem. I think it's Dawson. We need to really push that. Oh wow. Oh wow. Now I will say this, this is where I feel like AI is becoming problematic. I don't know if that's AI or not. And that's a that's a bad thing by the way, chat. That when we hear these things, we don't know if it's AI or not. But I remember like a clip of like someone someone putting out something on Twitter of of Braun leak Braun audio talking at Olympics. And I ain't going to lie. It caught me. It caught me until I went to the replies and said, and, and everyone said, um, that was AI. But That's right. I got that sent to me, and you know what? That was AI. Yeah. Told y'all, bro. I t Yo, AI becoming a problem, chat. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm leaning over to the other side, man. A a a AI becoming a problem, y'all. AI becoming a problem, y'all. Yeah, that was uh, that was AI, and uh, I'm I I'm not gonna lie, that was a pretty damn good AI, wasn't it? That was oh my, that was scout, dude, dude. I thought I had the smoking gun for like two three hours. Swear to God, I was uh, I, I I was in my room dancing like B B L Drizzy, B B L Drizzy, uh, but alas, uh, no, that was uh, that was um, that was corny. That was AI. I, I, I kept listening to it for a couple of hours, and I was like, this doesn't... Hold on. Wait a second. Why, why isn't there anybody else in the room talking? You know? And I, I sent it to a lot of people, too. I was like, does this sound real? Does this sound real? I had somebody, on my behalf, put it in one of those like AI like scan to see if it's AI things. And it, swear to God, it came back 2% likelihood it's AI. And it's AI. I almost got bamboozled, and I, I, I knew it was fishy when I was trying to text the person some more information, you know? And then they weren't responding, and I was like, hey, man, you're gonna really fuck up my shit if this isn't real, dude. But I did end up uh, figuring out and concluding that this was fake, and yeah, I'm a dummy. Okay, whoopsie daisies, and I don't know, if you look back at my Ava Tyson video that I made before, you know, shit hit the fan. Well, that was one of my points, you know, is, is you never want to jump the- Now, with that being said, my question now is- you baited us with the intro. Okay. You tried to figure out if it was AI. You found out it was AI. The fuck is the rest of this 20-minute video about? Because I will say this. I'm just trying to figure out if he's dragging it at this point. Gun. You know, you always want to vet your sources. You know? I was in an emotional place. And I almost, did, I almost jumped the gun. And I almost did not vet my sources. And thank God I did. The AI is getting so crazy, you know, that you, people can just make shit up and send it to people and go, wow, this is hot off the presses and it's bullshit. People are, 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 are you know, making deep fake, you know, adult videos out of people and that if- Yo, I swear to God, if he makes this into a jumping, like if, if he's using that fake ass AI clip in the beginning, as a jumping board to why AI is problematic. Oh, brother. If it's not a oh, crime, it should be. I, I think it's a crime. I'm pretty sure it's a crime. You know, so as AI in, you know, technology like that gets more and more and more, you know, scary. For the love of God, check your sources. Vet your sources. And make sure the sources you have are good. Because otherwise, you're going to look like an idiot. You know, I, I came this close to looking like an idiot. Ah, I'm an idiot. <laughs> hey, I didn't expect you to actually respond. I was messing around thinking it might be funny, end up on drama alert or something, but definitely pushed it too far. <laughs> Bro, you would've fucked my whole shit up. I thought that was the beast team fucking with my head. You know how paranoid I've been? And then I started singing this dude's praises, man. I was like, you beat the AI test. You made it stutter? 
This guy made an AI stutter? Look, I, I, I no, no problem with that guy. I mean, if I, if I ran with it, my credibility tanked, then yeah, that guy would really piss me off, but I'm a very forgiving person, so it's all right. I honestly gave him credit. I was, I was pretty good. That was a damn good AI. You got a good future ahead of you, brother. Just use it for good, all right? What, what did Uncle Ben say? With great power comes great... Oh! <laughs> no, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's not what the real Jimmy said. However, the real Jimmy did reach out. Okay? All right? Okay, let's slow it down a little bit. Let's slow it down a little bit. Let's hope this doesn't, you know, relax. Listen, listen. Jimmy reached out. Okay. Before I talk about how the conversation went and what's happening moving forward, I, I know the weight that all of this has. Because you know, Jimmy hasn't publicly responded yet. And as of right now, I'm, I'm recording this Wednesday morning, okay? So I don't know if things have changed since the uh, timing of this upload. It should be Friday um, when this goes up. So let me just talk about why this is so important. Everything I said in Dog Pack's video, everything I said in both of my videos, everything I've been saying is, is my true feelings. That's how I felt. And those are things I saw with my eyeballs and heard with my earballs. And I stand behind uh, all of those things with my full ass chest. Ass chest? <laughs> and I, I wanted to talk to you guys. You know, I said in my community notes, you know, which I'm going to tone those down. Sorry about that. But in my community notes, I asked you guys, you know, this is how I think Jimmy should respond publicly to everything. Uh, but for me, this is how I'd like it to be handled for me. And I asked you guys, you know, if, if like he offered me money, what would you guys be okay with? You know, because I'm, I'm iffy about it, dude. Like, I don't... I've, I've consistently said that I don't care about money. In fact, I have turned down money from Jimmy on multiple occasions. There is a height. You don't care about money until the money is is at the right price. I say that about everything, man. As crazy as it sounds, there is a price for everything. For a lot of things. For a lot of things. Um, a lot more things that you think. Cause I ain't gonna lie, bro. Even with all this shit happening, and maybe <laughs> this might sound crazy. <laughs> But if Jimmy came to my fucking doorstep with three mil in cash. Hey, now nah, I'm sucking it is crazy. Alien, you're 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 crazy. You're crazy. You're crazy. It's 60 billion you take in there. I don't even think it needs to get there. I yo, I, if Jimmy three million cash right here, man. Delete all them videos. Hold on now. Hold on now. Three million ain't a lot because of tax. Stop it, bro. Yo, yo. Biggest pet peeve when it comes to money conversations with anyone. Bring it up to taxes. There's taxes involved with everything, bro. There's taxes involved with everything. Jeez. In seek video we did, right? The, I was in two out of the three hide and seek videos that came out when they were coming out, you know, pretty consistently. And in the uh, first hide and seek video, uh, me and my good buddy Ben Malone, uh, we, we found each other in the uh, the, the theater room, uh, East Carolina University, and uh, we said to each other, and this used to happen sometimes behind the scenes when I was there, which I don't think this is too too crazy. Honestly, I think it's all in good fun. Uh, we would say, hey man, uh, if one of us uh, gets first, uh, let's split it, huh? And I was like, yeah, that sounds great. And you know, that, that's not terrible and fake, you know, that's just, you know, honestly, I think that makes it more fun because it's you know, not about winning and losing your money. It's just having a good time. And so on the first one, Ben Malone won, right? And me and Ben were actually the last two contestants left. So the fact that it came down to us two and we still got to split it, that was really cool. So that was, that was, that was great. So me, me and Ben split that prize money. In the second hide-and-seek video, we filmed that uh, on the set of one of the Hunger Games. That was where District 12 was. Me, me and Ben didn't have that conversation again. You know, hey, if one of us wins, let's split it, right? We, we, just, we just played the game, you know? And I got out like sixth. Like, sixth place. And then he Ben Malone won out. again. I swear to God, that wasn't fake. Ben was the unironic hide-and-seek champion. And when it was over, he said, Jake, I won. You want to split it? And I said, what? No. We didn't have an agreement like that this time. And I got, like, sixth place. No, it's fine. You keep all the money. And what was that? I think it was, like, $75,000. And we split so that. Sad. That's how much? 30 and some change? I don't know. So, yeah, I've, I've turned down a lot of money before. Just because I... You know, it's not about, I don't, I don't give a fuck. I don't care about money. I think everybody should just be able to eat food and have a house and get medical care. I hate money so much. Oh, it's, it's ran my life. I hate it. So in that spirit, when solitary confinement was over, yeah, I was upset. I didn't get what I thought I was getting. I thought I was getting 300. And I got like a third of that. You take the taxes out. I got let me know. And it was more about the treatment. It was more about how I felt. It was more about feeling... Like the guy on the street who Jimmy gives money to 
And he's supposed to be. Man, do you got new information or not, bro? Holy shit. These are. Th oh my God. Where is my Jimmy DM? Where is my Jimmy DM? He said, hey, I wanted to reach out and say I didn't mean to cause you mental stress with that video, and I apologize. Clearly, it had an effect on you. You mentioned you'd like to be paid out the rest of the prize money, the other $190,000. And I'd love to make things right with you. I have zero expectation of you mentioning me sending you this money publicly or taking down any videos. This is just me wanting to help you out and make sure you're good. I just need to know if you still have the same bank or not. We'll send you the money on Monday. Wish you the best. Now, let's talk about that. I, I didn't want him to make a public spectacle about his apology to me. I still think he owes a massive collective something, you know, an, an apology, an explanation, just a statement. And, and as of this moment, you know, more stuff is going to come out. So I think he should wait and publicly say something about everything soon. Uh, but he's got to digest everything as it trickles out, right? So is that a threat? For me, the personal apology, the the person to person thing, you know, there was no lawyers around. It wasn't a spectacle. There was no camera in my face. I respected that. That's how I would have wanted it to go down. But I, I couldn't. I couldn't take it. I, I, I couldn't. I couldn't take a hundred. I, I just couldn't take it. Because it, it's still a mechanism of the game. It's still like the rest of the prize money, and that's not what it was about. But the other consistent point I was making was when you have no money, it's not a choice, is it? So I. I I need that money. I don't want you guys to think that that's going to... Did you take the money or not? God damn! I change how I feel. I don't want you guys to think I'm going to go back on anything I said. I still want Dog Pack's videos to come out and shed light on some stories that need to be heard. And I want Rosanna to keep fucking crushing it, that bitch. Oh, she's so fucking... Gosh, oh, she's crushing it, dude. I talked to somebody else over there. That good friend who I lost, who was a saint, who broke his ankle. I, I did not lose him as a friend. In fact, the same night uh, Jimmy called, uh, I had a three-hour-long conversation on the phone with that guy. And that was, that was lovely. And so, yeah, I'm one of those assholes who does get... Man, he, he, he literally said he has no expectations of you taking videos down, man. Um, and maybe that is like a mental pressure of, okay, I gave you 190 k take it easy on me. But... I it just sounds like he wanted to give you the rest of the money. Um, at that point, it is up to you if you want to treat Mr. Beast a little bit nicer than not because he just gave you $190,000. But leave that up to me. I, I'll make that decision with hundred ninety k in my bank account. And whatever happens, happens, Jimmy. All right? Appreciate the bag. Get along with everybody. Isn't that annoying? I swear to God, Dog Pack is public enemy number one over there. And I'm, I, I, I love that guy. Yeah, okay? man, that's and what I'm saying, here, right? I got Mr. Beast employees texting me saying, Jake, we love you too. G fellas, fellas. <laughs> hey, come on. So, Jimmy texted me that. And I, I did what I do best. I yap. Oh, I'm a yapper. Oh, I be yapping. I sent Jimmy. At, at least it's self conscious. Text, you know? I sent at him a big long text about how he feel. I sent him a big long text about why I felt like I had to huff and puff my chest. You know, why I was so scared to come out. I. I said everything, basically, that I said in all those dog pack videos. I said them to his face. And he called me, you know? Because when you get that many text messages, like, whoa, hey, hey, hey let's, let's talk on the phone, okay? <laughs> so we're talking on the phone for a while. And I'm just, for the sake of, look, if, if I'm building this audience on authenticity, being honest, being genuine, okay? Also crying a lot, that's funny. Yeah, yeah, it, that's my brand, is being honest and crying a lot. You know how many thumbnails? You know how many thumbnails I've been in where I'm crying? I've been in a lot of crying thumbnails, Philip DeFranco. I'm in one Philip DeFranco thumbnail. <laughs> I'm going to do a reenactment of what our phone conversation between me and Jimmy was. And this is not exactly how it happened. This is a reenactment for the sake of comedy. But this is the crux of what it was. And look, when Jimmy... Are y'all going to a stand-up? Not love you, love you, man. Maybe it's funny for someone. It got to be funny for someone. He was on the phone. It got to. I've seen Jimmy speak at regular hangouts. I've seen Jimmy speak on camera, behind the camera. When I tell you... This is the most human I've ever heard Jimmy speak. So take that as you will. So me and Jimmy are texting a little bit, and then he calls me, and the conversation goes, uh, hey, uh, I'm, I'm really sorry about all that. Uh, that, that was fucked up, and I, I'm, I should have put you through that. So I have a lot of money. Uh, do you want some? Oh, uh, how, how, much, uh, how much money? How about the rest of the, the money from the thing? Uh, about $190,000. Would you like that? 
Would you like $190,000? Oh, um, ugh, has to I know, I know. I, I don't want you to think that you got to take any videos down. Uh, I don't want you to think you're... I, I don't, I don't, you don't have to post anything because I don't want it to look like I'm buying you out or you're being silent. I want you to keep doing what you're doing. This is just for me to you to make things Yeah, I, I respect that. I, I appreciate that. But, but you know how it looks, you know, for you to, to give me this cash that I desperately need, right? You know, I don't, I don't want, I want, my, I want my audience to trust me here. You know, I want, I want to remain credible. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, totally. So, so I can, you don't even, have, don't even like post about it. I'll just, don't worry about it. Just take this cash. I just don't. Uh... Counter offer, fifty. You, you save a hundred and forty thousand dollars. You just give me fifty. That's gonna cover all my debts, some medical bills that I have. I have taxes. Why? He's literally telling you, you can do whatever the fuck you want. On the back burner from last year because I'm freelance. And that'll get me back to zero. <laughs> and I get to keep saying whatever the hell I want. I get to keep being honest. I get to keep being authentic. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe, maybe I missed the chat. Maybe I missed it. Did Mr. B say he can't say what he wants if he takes the 190? Was there like a shut up? Like, he's, yo. If we give you 190K, you gonna shut up, right? I don't think he ever said that. I'm not going to worry about you guys coming after me for being myself. Yeah, great. Bank info still the same? So that's that's the deal. Oh, wow. You took money from Mr. Beast after all that stuff you said? Yeah, I'm a socialist with a smartphone, okay? I didn't just fall out of a coconut tree. This this money, is this $50,000? Well, first of all, you're going to tax it. So let's say it's more like $30,000. I still have, you know, uh, student loans. And that's because I was going to wait to see if Joe Biden was going to get rid of those guys. Sure didn't. Oh, oh, was I a fool in that regard? Thanks, Joe. And oh yeah, all that money is gonna go to, you know, stuff I have to pay to live because I live in the best country in the world, you know? So I'm not loaded still. I still have a day job. I still, you know, am barely getting by. And I'm still not monetized either, by the way. Uh, I have to meet a uh, watch time threshold before I get to that. And, you know, thanks to you guys' attention spans. Speaking of attention spans, I want to apologize again to Chad Katz community. Uh, that was a whoopsie day. I was, I was having a really rough day. And uh, I saw that, you know, he was doing, uh, uh, you know, ADHD versions of my stuff, and I worked really, really hard on my videos where I poured my heart and soul, and I saw it reduced to seven seconds, and I had a, I had an emotional reaction, which was not cool. I tried to make a joke at Jimmy's expense, you know, that people have to consume content like this because Jimmy ruined everybody's brains, and I made a joke that was shitty and cunty, and it, 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 the, the audience was like, whoa, what the hell? And, 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 and Chad Cat couldn't have been nicer, you know? And I, I went to Chad Cat's Patreon. I gave Chad Cat a dollar so I could make sure I told him personally, uh, hey man, even though I was trying to joke, that came off real shitty, and you got a real dope community. And uh, I, I even said, you know, I got a video uh, uh, on my channel called Rat Boy Summer where I go in depth on how ADHD fucked my shit up and how and give me this money. Uh, and listen, as of like, it's, I'm recording this on Wednesday. I have not received it yet, which is not Yo, thank God I put this shit on 1.25. Holy fuck. No big deal. Again, I don't give a fuck. Okay. But if and when, I do. Yeah, I'll let you know. I did say before I left, I said, I said, wait, Timmy, do I have to be nice to Viking? And he goes, what? Uh, no. Cool. So watch out for that. I'm, I'm too hard on Viking. He's a very easy target. I ended his career with the back of my hand. And I'll do it again. But I still meant what I said when I said every penny I make moving forward is going to be because I earned it. So this, this 50K is, I swear to God, going to get me back to zero. <laughs> Maybe not even. It might not even be enough to cover all my debts. Yeah, honestly, I want to see what he sounds like at one, one normal speed now. Maybe I'll have two or three stacks left over, you know, as pocket change, okay? So this was not me getting bought out. And to prove I'm not getting bought out, let me just... Say how I feel some more. Dogpack's next video is going to talk about some very, very serious allegations that I think if you work at Beast, don't work at Beast, fan of his, not a fan of his, people need to come forward about how they've been treated and how they've been affected. Because at the very least, if Jimmy is too big to fail, then maybe that'll make the company a little better. And maybe we'll be watching out for more of the stuff like that. We, we, I, I will say that third video is the video I'm waiting on. Apparently, that's the day not like us. Like, for real, for real. That's the, that's the red button chat. That third video, when he drops it, we will be watching. This video right here, it did show that Mr. Beast did talk to, to uh, who is this? Jacob Weddle. It did... It, you know, he did take 50K. Um, but not much was really said in this. We got to hold people accountable, myself included. Rosanna, you know, she's doing the Lord's work over there, holding Jimmy accountable. Okay? And I firmly believe those things. And I'm going to keep saying 
how I vehemently disagree with his business model. I, I don't I don't think sticking a camera in somebody's face and, and, and you know paying them that way is a good thing to do. And that's just where I come from. And I really hope a lot of stuff gets addressed when Jimmy does finally speak. When it comes to me, Jimmy personally apologized. And he offered me money I wasn't comfortable accepting. But the understanding is he made an attempt to make it right. And I appreciated that. And that was all I needed. But I also got a little bit of change that I felt a little more comfortable taking and the ability to stay true to myself and exist on this platform. And that, to me, is worth a gajillion dollars. And look, if Jimmy is too big to fail, you know, if he is like an oligarch of YouTube, you know, if he is a monarch, you know, a king, that's fine. Let him be the king of YouTube. But if I'm the only one who can actually say whatever I want, I think that makes me the jester. Right? Let me give you a little history lesson on what, what? a jester is. So, the jester... I guess? ...was the only person in the kingdom. He was like the king's, you know, guy over here, you know? And he was allowed to say whatever he wanted. He was allowed to say to the king's face jokes about him that were, that were poignant. You know, it's like the people rooted for the jester, and the jester was the only one who didn't get beheaded for saying the things that he said. In fact, maybe even the king liked it, you know? So... Look, I'm going to keep talking shit. But I think I'm the only one who might be allowed to do it. So, Jake the Viking better watch out. Because Jake the Jester's here. So. I guess my, my big... Listen, I'm not trying to justify anything Mr. Beast did. I do think the things that he did to Jake Weddle in that video was fucked up. Um, but two things can be true. Um, this was a whole yap session that could have been like a five minute video. Big yap session that could have been a five minute video. I also did not like the title and thumbnail being as bad as it was. Talking about I caught Jimmy in a secret recording and that just wasn't the case whatsoever. Um, and also if your content moving forward is just... I'm a shit on Mr. Beast. Maybe there's longevity in that, but I ain't gonna lie. There is gonna be a point where you dick biting. I personally feel like if you're you're the the whole point of your channel's existence is just dick biting Mr. Beast, we gotta acknowledge that you are a Mr. Beast dick biter. I don't know. In that regard, I appreciate that. And if you want to see more of my videos, maybe I'll talk about, you know, a story that happened on set that wasn't that cool. Maybe I'll talk about a story on set that was cool, you know. Maybe I won't talk about any of that stuff. Maybe I'll talk about stand-up comedy. You know, maybe I'll talk about why YouTube is the problem here. YouTube used to be... You're a guy with a camera talking about your day, making silly little videos with your friends. You know, Charlie bit my finger, and now it's just another streaming service. Now it's just, it's just Amazon, it's just Netflix, and YouTube. Hey, 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 YouTube, you're looking at me? Hey, hey, get back to your roots, please. You gotta, don't put all your funding into these big fucking guys. You gotta, you gotta promote your little guys. They do, they do, they do. That's, that's weak, that's weak. Because at, at that point, if you're going all the way back to really getting to the root of the problem, I'm going to be honest with you, man. The root of the problem is capitalism. I don't, I don't think YouTube would be doing the things that they did if we didn't live in the capitalistic society that we did. So if we're going all the way back, that's really what it <laughs> comes down to. Okay? And when I say you're little guys, I mean, I mean your, your team's a one, you know? Your, 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 your Drew Goodens, your Curtis Connors, you know? Maybe not your Cody Co's anymore, but it's okay. I'm talking Eddie Burback. Okay, that doing that guy's doing great work. YouTube needs to feel like it's run by regular people like it used to. But if you want to go the whole streaming service route, then get the WGA involved, okay? If you want to play with the big boys, you got to get the unions involved. Because if you want to make Amazon money, if you want to make Netflix money, and you're going to let the YouTubers run it, people are going to get hurt, okay? 
I, I do I have to explain this? It's it's easy to see. Why am I the only one saying this? Anyway, yeah. That's where I'm coming from. Okay. I do think chat. Maybe there's a certain sub threshold that you should have on YouTube where you like any employee that you have should be forced to be under some sort of union. Like maybe that is a solution because I do agree with them in terms of there's a certain level of production on YouTube that is on par with Hollywood production that isn't just that that just isn't getting monitored whatsoever. There's no regulations about it. There's no unions with it at all. That's getting fucked over because it's YouTube and we're doing independent work and everyone's a contractor. But outside of that, though, like we can go on my homepage right now. This idea that YouTube is just a bunch of Mr. Beast clones, um, no real content is being made and everything is just brain rot. It's just not the case. Like I'm I'm looking at this right now. Are we considering Big Ox stream brain rot? Just sir, if you want to count him as like you uh basketball Mr. Beast, that's fine. But this this a podcast clip, this is a one hour VOD. Um quick little video from Ludwig right here. I'm pretty sure that's a stream clip. Music video, uh a video essay, uh a VOD, a moist video, a drama video. Like there really isn't like a lot of like at least in my opinion. Unless you really do watch that shit. I feel like that type of content really only gets recommended to you if you really watch that shit. If you don't, yeah, that doesn't that doesn't really appear on your homepage. Like I, I'll I'll go to another channel right now. Let's go on. Let's keep it a buck. Let's go on. Let's keep it a buck. Um, yeah. If we go on, let's keep it a buck. Same thing. Like I'm not seeing this brain rot. Um, highly produced videos that he's talking about because of the fact that my homepage, like I don't I don't watch that shit. 